Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the My Color Screen channel where you can learn everything there is to know about customizing your Android home screen. So without any further ado, let's jump right into an awesome Android home screen tutorial. So it looks to me that minimalism is taking over the Android home screen community. As you can see, this is a fantastic screen of the day by Empol titled Sliding Tab. And this is probably one of the most uniquely designed minimal screens that I've ever seen. Having a closer look at the main screen, while well, there's not really much to see here besides a little minimal time there, a little tiny temperature there, and this little tab. Now you might be curious what this does, and if I pull it to my right, Look at that, it's got all of your, your main shortcuts here, such as your camera, your gallery, your messaging. Say your Google Plus, just by selecting that will bring up your Google Plus page. How cool is that? It's also got your app drawer at the bottom here. So just by selecting that will bring up your app drawer that comes with all of your apps. Real, real cool. Sliding across now, we can now slide to the right hand side and it comes with all of our time as well as our notifications. And then finally sliding to the top, let's just see going all the way to the top, it's got our weather information like that. And what's great about this home screen is that it looks fantastic with any wallpaper that you put on your phone. Look at this, I just switched it up with a dark wallpaper and it simply looks fantastic. So if this looks really cool and you really want this on your Android phone, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, this is a few things that you need to take note of, such as apps that you'll be needing and resources that you need to copy onto your phone. Resources that you'll be needing, check in the link in the description below. It comes with one main .raw file or file that you need to extract. It comes with your wallpaper, your Zupa widgets, as well as your lightning launcher backup. And you can either use software on your computer to extract it, such as any unzipping program that can handle .raw formats, or just copy it onto your phone and extract it using a good file explorer such as ES File Explorer. Once you've got that folder onto your phone, the apps that you'll be needing, first off your launcher, your custom launcher will be Lightning Launcher, that one over there, otherwise you won't be able to get those cool sliding techniques. You're welcome to try and use SS Launcher, Holo Launcher or Nova Launcher, but you just won't get that same effect at the end of the day. Next up on your list will be Zupa Widget Pro, and I say Pro because you need to get those custom templates onto your phone or open on Zupa Widget, and the free version will not allow you to do that. Finally, and I always recommend this for anyone to have, is a good file explorer. I do recommend ES File Explorer simply because it's free and very easy to use. So once you have that sliding tab folder copied onto your phone, I do recommend then finding that sliding tab folder that you've now copied onto your phone, if I select it now, as you can see, these are the various folders that you'll be needing for this setup. First off will be your backup folder, which includes your Lightning Launcher backup file. Now we're going to be starting with copying this into the Lightning Launcher folder. So I'm just going to simply hold down on it and select copy. Once that's done, I can now go back, back again, all the way back into your, my main SD card directory. From here, I want to look for my Lightning Launcher folder. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit, there it is, Lightning Launcher, and as you can see here, all the current backups that I have currently on my phone. So from here, I'm just going to select Paste now, I'm just going to overwrite that, and there it is in my Lightning Launcher folder, so make sure that it's there, otherwise Lightning Launcher will just not be able to pick it up, so just keep that in mind. I'm now going to return to my same sliding tab folder, where we want to now go into the Widgets folder. From here you can see all the different Zupa widget files. You know that they're Zupa widget files because they end in .zw and we just want to select all of them. So I'm just going to hold down on one and then select that little icon there that just says select all. So they've got all of them selected now and I can now select copy once again. I'm going to go all the way back, back into my SD card directory and we want to go all the way to the bottom and look for the Zupa widget folder. From here we want to get, go into the folder called templates and all you have to do now is select paste again and just, just overwrite them. It's going to paste all of these now into your Zupa or your templates folder. Make sure that they're in the templates folder. Otherwise, as always, Zupa widget will not be able to pick it up. So that's all the background done. You've got everything on your phone in the correct folders, hopefully. So from here, we're now going to be focusing on the lightning launcher setup. Great, so I've just restored Lightning Launcher to its default setting. As you can see now, this is pretty much what it looks like if you've just installed it. So, very easy to do. Now, we're going to simply hold down on the home screen and select Customize Lightning. From here, we're going to scroll down. We want to select the last option here where you can see it says Restore, as we just want to be restoring that backup that we copied onto our phone. Now, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and you want to look for the one that's 
the 3rd of the 9th and it's the time is 12.13 so make sure that if you happen to make a lightning launcher backup on the same day that it's not 12.13 so make sure that it's 2013-09-03 12.13 so yeah select that now it's gonna restore it it's gonna set up everything for you hopefully as you can see it really comes with the background and all you'd have to do now is to add in all the zoop widgets so how easy is that that's your lightning launcher setup done now we can jump right in to the zoop widgets great so for these zoop widgets luckily they're very easy to add and there's not really much hassle involved with them we're going to start off with this bottom one here now the author has been kind enough to lock all of these in place but this does make it somewhat confusing if you want to start editing these so what we have to do first is hold down on the on the home screen and select edit layout from here if we say we wanted to start with this bottom one which is going to be our time we're going to hold down on it now and select select another widget from here you want to choose your desired one which will be your super widget here now let's just go for say a one by one i'm not too sure if having a different size makes a difference but i'm just going to stick with making it more or less the same size of what it originally is so i'll be selecting a one by one whereby now it's now set up the super widget so now we have to select back to get out of the edit layout setting and then from here we need to select that hand in order to bring up the super widget settings from here we want to jump right into our sd card because that's where all of our custom saved templates have been stored and now for some reason it's split up all my templates i'm not too sure why but near the top there should be the one called trans clock now i'm just going to select trans clock now i'm just going to leave it alone for now as i'll come to the on tap actions a bit later i'm just going to select back now and hopefully there it is it's now being set up for me how cool is that i'm going to do the exact same thing now for the one at the top except for now it's going to be the temperature one so i'm going to get again say select edit, edit layout hold down on the skin select another a widget from here i'm going to scroll all the way down all the way go for another one by one size tap back to get out of my edit edit layout setting select the hand select sd card and now from here i'm going to select the trans grady which i'm guessing is temperature so i'm going to select back now see what that turns out to be it's very tiny you can't really see it but it does look much better in person so the last one that we need to add is the little tab on the side here for our main screen we need to hold down same thing applies i'm just going to run through through this very quickly select another widget super widget one by two sd card and just the trance with a little dash like that so it even shows you what it looks like and there is our first page complete so very easy setup to do from here i'm going to be running through the super widget pretty quickly as as you can see on the side here there's just two we need to add on this side if we scroll across there's either one or two that you need to add on this side and there's just one you need to add at the top so i'm just going to be doing a quick montage of all the different widgets that you'll need to be adding starting with this right hand screen so for the top one i'm going to hold down on it select another widget super widget 4x4 tap back get into the skin again sd card you want to go for that trance slider one that comes with all the apps that you'll be needing selecting back once again and there is your app set up same thing applies to the bottom one select edit layout hold down on it select another widget i'm going to go for a 4x2 and you want to look for the trance apps one like that it's got your little app draw like that so i'm just going to be selecting back and there it is applied and that is your left screen done now we're going to go to the right hand side here don't be a fool like me and try and hold down on it as like i said it's locked so you can't re really edit them from here you need to slide it a bit across hold down on the screen now and now select edit layout to get to this bottom one here we'll be doing exactly the same thing gonna go for another four by four size this time now I'm going to be selecting the trance knot which is the notification so I'm just going to select that up now and there is your notifications done now for this one at the top it's a little bit different as you, you get two options what you can choose on what you want to do so whatever your personal preference is I'm like I'm just going to go for four by two so now you can decide on two options you can either have just a quick weather like a weather bar that you can see over here it's called the trance bar you can now select it and that's what it looks like however if you don't want this if you just want to have your notifications you can now simply hold down on your home screen on the side here but select edit layouts hold down on the skin and just select remove now you might see that there's a gap now formed so i can now just select this notification skin and just shift it up by one by so holding down on this padding and moving it up so now when i select back back again and then swiping across this is what it'll look like so two options there 
And then finally to add in the top one, that weather one, we just need to hold down select, edit layout, and then select another widget on top of that skin. You can select another 4x4, but I get the feeling that that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to be selecting the skin once again, going into my SD card, and simply selecting the trans weather skin from here. And once that's done, I'm just going to select back, and this is C, wait for it to appear. And there it is. So I'm just going to swipe up, and there is a beautiful looking weather skin like that. So there is pretty much the skin set up. Now what you want to be doing is to set up those Zoop widgets to either open up your desired apps or just nothing at all. So say for example this one over here, this is for your missed calls, however it doesn't say calls, I think that's Italian, I think it's, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, it'll be really bad. However, if you simply want to edit any Zoopa skin, all you'd have to do now is select say an area that's in the middle between things and you see it brings up the editor like this. Now anything that you'd want to customize will be in your layout section over here. As you can see, I see I just selected it now. And here is your missed calls text. As you can see, I think it says Chiamate. I'm not, I think I said that really bad. But anyway, I'm just going to select it now so you can forget about it. And if we scroll a bit more down, we can say edit text manually. From here, we can now select it. Let's just see where it is. And we just want to make it calls. Obviously now there's a lot less space. So if I just need to add in some space with my space bar, we just want to make it better aligned. So you just want to check, see what it looks like by selecting the tick. See now if I zoom in a bit, I'm not sure how blurry this is, but it's a little bit to, uh, to the right as well as this is not looking too good. So from here, I'm just going to be giving it some more space. And if you scroll to the top, it's got your X offset here. So I'm just going to offset it a bit, just get it more aligned to the left hand side. And that is pretty much how you edit text. Also, if you want to edit an image, same thing applies, except that if we go back, you'll have your image here and you just need to select it and then select the bitmap within that option and you'll be able to change the images like that as regarding the ones on the left hand side for your application shortcuts. Now for example the next thing that you want to do is what happens if you want to open up a, a simple application once tapping that area. So say I want to take calls for example, I want to scroll down and the most important thing that you'll be looking for is the widget on tap action. Now this is regarding the calls only so I'm just going to select it now and I'll just want it to open up my phone. So I'm just gonna swipe across to apps now, select my phone application, and now it's been set, whenever I select either the phone or the missed call number, it's gonna bring up my phone. Now you want to be doing that for every single one of the widgets, as well as all the little individual items, just to open up whatever application that you desire. However, if you don't wanna open up anything at all, you can always just go, if we go into our main area here and we select our widget on tap action, this is regarding the global setting for the entire Zupa widget and we select widget on tap action and now select disabled. What that means is that it'll have everything disabled besides the object that you've just configured such as for calls. So now we can just test that out. If I go back now, what happens now is if I touch anywhere here, nothing will, ha nothing will happen. However, if I select calls now, it'll bring up my phone. I can even do it on my missed calls over here. Selecting that will also bring up my phone. So I do recommend that you do it to every single one of these. Some of them have been pre-configured, such as your app draw. Selecting, selecting it will bring up your app draw just like this. But the other widgets, such as your time over here, still need to be configured, but they're very easy to do, as I've just showed you like that. So there is your home screen complete. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I do recommend changing up the wallpaper just to personalize it, make it your own creation. But in the end, thank you very much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community and Instagram community as we always enjoy helping you guys out. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, KitKat.